Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host Gavin Hatch. This episode is for November 8th, 2016. It's election day here in America. I hope all of you had a chance to get out there and vote and let your voice be heard. Now we may not all agree on the candidates and our different views, but I think there's something we can all agree on and that is Volcano Bay at Universal Orlando Resort. We are all so excited for this to open up next summer and also they just announced Universal Orlando's sixth on-site hotel which will be built right across the street. It's going to be Universal's Aventura Hotel. So we're going to take a look at that today, where that's going to be put, and also get a great look at Volcano Bay's progress. And I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's get started. Now, for those of you that take Interstate 4 on a daily basis or in, in the attractions area, now this is going to be the view that you're used to seeing. And a lot of us just drive by it and don't really get to stop and take a good look at it. But this is the view that we're used to. This is coming from Interstate 4. And you can just see how big this volcano is. And even though the it's less than 30 acres, the, the, the size of this park, it's pretty small. But they are putting a lot of stuff in here. And you can just really see the details going in right now, this infrastructure of all these buildings and slides and what it's going to become. Now, this is again just coming from uh, Interstate 4, so you don't really get the best view of it. So I'm going to show you guys other areas and uh, things that you probably don't get to see if you're on the road. But this is also, I mean, you can see here how tall this volcano is. It really is going to be, I mean, depending on where you're staying on International Drive, and even from local neighborhoods behind Universal Orlando, you can see the top of this thing. And this doesn't even have the water coming out of it yet, so you will really, especially at night, it's gonna look so cool having water like this lit to look like lava shooting out of the top of this. It's it's great. Um, I, can, I can't wait. I know I say that a lot, but it's gonna be exciting. So let's keep going and looking at other areas of Volcano Bay. Now this view here is from Turkey Lake Road. This is over Dr. Phillips Windermere area if you're coming from that area to the back entrance of Universal Orlando. So it's opposite from International Drive and Interstate 4. Now these slides here, you can get really close. The sidewalk is open, it's a public sidewalk, so you can walk along here and really just stand underneath these slides almost. And it's, it's really, they're huge. And they are not, you know, of course, complete yet. Uh, so when they are done, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more theming elements to it. Uh, a lot of plants and foliage, of course, over the years, those plants will grow and get bigger and, and thicker and more dense and make it look even more tropical because that is the feel of the entire park. And my thought is, are they going to put up a giant wall here, like a sound barrier wall uh, to protect the noise coming into the local neighborhoods? Also just to keep in the theming so guests inside the park cannot see some of the office space and of course houses and such are across the street. I'm sure they're gonna build a big wall there. They have one like it over uh, by Jurassic Park and behind Harry Potter in Hogsmeade so the residents don't have to hear that noise and of course you don't see while you're inside the park. But I wonder if they're gonna do the same thing here. They doesn't look like they have any of the, the work done for that wall if they do put that up. But I feel like they should and they probably will uh, down the road before the June opening comes. Now here's another look of the volcano and you can really see just the, the detail of it. It's really going to be, they're, they're starting to put, they're covering up all the steel infrastructure. So you're going to start seeing probably some of the, like the clay work being done to make it look like a volcano and, and the rock work I should say. And of course then we're going to have paint on it which will really just make it stand out and look real and uh, put this whole thing together. This is a view from Interstate 4 going towards downtown Orlando. So coming from the Disney attractions area uh, on your left hand side. So this is going to be again something you can see uh, when you're coming into Orlando when you're driving to Disney and something you'll see on your way out. So I think a lot of people are going to be tempted to pull on over and check it out and see what it's all about and of course make a visit uh, to Universal Orlando as well as Volcano Bay during their stay here in the Orlando area. Now this is another look at those slides there that you can see very easily from Turkey Lake Road. This angle I got from Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Now if you're staying at this resort you have a great vantage point. You can really see a lot of construction going on if you're staying in those towers that are currently already done at Cabana Bay. They're of course expanding that resort and they're building two additional towers that actually have obstructed the view um, that I used to be able to get of pretty much all of Volcano Bay. So now I can only see so much from this angle from the from the top of these towers. So it really is kind of annoying, but of course, it's I'm, I'm okay. They're building these beautiful two new towers at Cabana Bay that are gonna be really great, especially for having overlooking views of Volcano Bay when it's complete. But these slides are just, just a, a few of many attractions. There's gonna be 18 of them 
when the park is done. And the great thing about this park is that you will not be having to grab a raft at the bottom of the slide and walk it up with you. When you go on to one of these attractions, one of these slides, when you get there at the top of the slide, your raft will already be there. So they're gonna have a mechanism designed and built that will just take the rafts and things back up to the top. So you don't have to carry around any rafts uh, or tubes with you. It's going to be so easy. That was one of the many things that they talked about this past week. They did a press release with lots of great information and details about Volcano Bay. That's one of the things I'll talk to you more about the other stuff in just a few seconds. But before we do that, uh, again, I'm talking about those towers. This is actually what we're, we're seeing so far. Um, it's pretty much just the the skeleton of the building. Some of the windows are in, but there's no drywall yet. They're putting plumbing and electrical in right now. Uh, on these two towers, there's gonna be one, um, one at each end of those two towers that are already uh, existing at Cabana Bay. So they'll be kind of not round, but they're, yeah, they're, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna be like. There's not really a lot of information about these as of right now. Are they gonna be suites? Are they gonna be regular rooms? How big are they gonna be? You know, it doesn't look like they're gonna be connected. I can tell right now they're not gonna be connected to the existing towers at Cabana Bay. You will have to enter them from outside. Uh, and then you have, of course, interior corridors and elevators to use. But at first, I thought they were gonna be connected together to the existing hotel building, but it will not. Uh, but these do look great, and I cannot wait for them to be done. And I just hope that all kind of comes together and looks good, and it's not too drastic of a different design from uh, what we're looking at at Volcano Bay that will be right there next to it. Now, this view right here, this is pretty much the best view I could get of the entire uh, of the entire park. Still, it's not everything because of the obstructions from the new hotel towers, but this is a great look overlook of the volcano and some of the other slides and it's it's really coming together there's still no concrete work done it's still all dirt right now they have a lot of the pieces of the uh, steel structure that's going over the uh, the volcano right now that's going to be of course uh, filled in with concrete to make it look like rock work and of course painted over so that is what's pretty much taking a lot of the space up on the ground right now in that dirt and of course they'll once that volcano is completed i'm sure that's when they're going to start doing the wave pool and getting all the other slides put in place now something that is really exciting to have coming to Universal Orlando is the Tapu Tapu. And this is something that Universal has not done before. It is going to be kind of like, I guess you can compare it to a Magic Band system, but it will be a little different. Um, when you purchase a ticket to Volcano Bay, you will get a Tapu Tapu. It is no extra charge. You put that on your wrist. And from the concept art that we're seeing in the videos that got released by Universal Orlando this week with all this information about Volcano Bay, it looks it doesn't look like a Magic Band. It looks more like an like a, a iPhone watch. So it does look like you'll be able to actually uh, select different options and things on the actual the band that you're wearing and or Tapu Tapu as they call it. Um, and instead of doing it on a phone or something like that, which makes sense. You don't want to have your phone out while you're in the water park. You want to be able to make selections on your Tapu Tapu directly. So what Tapu Tapu will do is going to activate all kinds of cool hidden uh, interactive things around the park, making things light up and water to come out of different spouts and just all kinds of different things that kind of like the ones that you have with the wand, interactive wands in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then the most important thing that Tapu Tapu will be used for is rides and lines. You will not be waiting in lines. There is no such thing as standby lines at Volcano Bay. You will not be waiting in lines. You'll be using Tapu Tapu to pre-select rides and ride them at different times. And whenever that attraction is ready to go and you can go ride it, it will vibrate and tell you. And I believe it will probably pop up on your Tapu Tapu screen and then you just go to the attraction and you get on. You're not weighing in line. So it's similar to the ride reservation system that Universal has. It's not really used a whole lot, uh, but it's it's gonna be different from Express, it's gonna be different from Magic Bands. Uh, but again, it's still too early, not a whole lot of information has been re released on it, but of course we'll probably get more details about it um, once tickets go on sale, which is November 15th, and of course, as we get closer to opening day itself. Now, just three days ago, Universal Orlando released information about their sixth on-site hotel. Now, this is rumored, but now it has been confirmed by Universal Orlando directly. Now, they are going to build their sixth on-site hotel right across the street from Cabana Bay Beach Resort and Volcano Bay, and it's actually going to be next to Sapphire Falls, which is their newest on-site hotel. 
Now this is going to be a prime value resort, so it's going to be in the same category as Cabana Bay. Uh, now the preferred hotels are Royal Pacific and Sapphire Falls, and then the premier hotels are Hard Rock and Portofino. Now Hard Rock, Portofino, and also Royal Pacific offer express access as well as early park admission, but Cabana Bay, Sapphire Falls, and the new Ventura Hotel, I know it's, I'm saying it like a white boy, but the new Universal's Aventura Hotel is going to be just early park admission and of course transportation to the parks and city walk. But there will be no express with this hotel. A lot of people have been asking that. So no, you will not get express access by staying here because it is a prime value resort, not a premier hotel. And it is going to be very modern though. It does not look like, based on the concept art, the very little concept art we have so far, it is not going to be... Um, it, it doesn't look cheap. It looks like a very kind of like Universal's version of contemporary. It's very modern, very sleek. Um, it's very open concept, bright. Again, not a lot of concept arts out there, so I'm only going based on what we've seen and what Universal Orlando has said about this hotel, but it is going to not be huge when it comes to like taking up space. It's going to be tall. It's going to be 16 stories. It's going to be the largest hotel. Uh, it should be at the same point though when it comes to the volcano at Volcano Bay. It's going to be at the same height. So those who are on the top floor will be able to be right up there uh, with the volcano. And it will have the first ever rooftop bar at Universal Orlando, which I'm excited to experience. And then of course it will have its own pool and you can use the other pools around the Universal Orlando Resort as well. So I, again, not a lot of information's out right now, but this is where we're gonna be seeing it. It's right by Interstate 4, across from Cabana Bay, Volcano Bay, and next to Sapphire Falls. And it will be opening in summer of 2018. Now before we go, here's another quick look, a few more looks at Volcano Bay. This is where you can see, uh, looking towards I-4, the side of the volcano that's facing Interstate 4, you can see there's a lot of scaffolding on that side, and I feel like that's because they're probably gonna start doing the rock work if they haven't done so already. It was so dark, I can't really see in between the scaffolding, so I couldn't tell what was going on, but I'm sure this is probably what they're gonna have it set up for, uh, to go ahead and start putting the concrete in, to have it, uh, be turned into uh, rock work and make it look like and be sculpted to look real and once it's painted I feel like then we're all gonna just see I mean and it's gonna hit us that this is really happening it's and it's almost complete um, it's been a long time coming that's for sure Volcano Bay was rumored for years that Wet n Wild was gonna be taken away and sure enough it is its last day of operation is on December 31st and you can still see it from uh, parts of Universal Orlando you can see it from some of the hotels and you can see it from uh, Cabana Bay right here obviously and it's uh, its last day of operation is at the end of the year and then we'll have this one opening up on June 1st and this is still going to be considered it's not going to be considered a water park it is a therm, uh, theme park um, it's Universal's third park uh, and a lot of people are kind of you know, debating online whether it has the right to have that title because it's a water park, you know, it's just water attractions, they're not indoor attractions. But the thing is, what is a theme park? It's themed attractions. And this entire park is themed. It has a theme, each attraction has a theme. So I think, it, in my opinion, it has the right to have that title as a theme park. It's a themed water park, that's for sure. Uh, so if you guys are excited to see this, if you are going to be going there next summer when it opens up, or in the future when you come to Orlando, comment below if you're watching this on YouTube. Let's talk about it. Um, I, I can't wait. And I think... I think that's it. I think this has been such a fun photo finds. I loved going out and getting these pictures for you guys. I hope all of you subscribe to Attractions Magazine. And of course, until next time, make sure you get out, you have fun, you vote, and you enjoy those parks. Yeah.